so this is going to be our final game in iron and i figured i'd give my thought process on this is a challenger league of legends um you know solo queue player from north america i wanted to give my thought process on you know every elo so i'm going to do bronze four bronze one silver four silver one and i'm just trying to do this series to be strictly educational so basically my entire consensus of iron and what keeps a player in iron i actually feel really bad for iron players because one third of my games i played 21 games but one third of my games had unironic bots like yumi bots or annie bots where it wasn't a player it was actually an ai program just to run around the map and it made me really sad to think about because there are some players that are genuinely just really new to the game and struggle because a lot of the players i played with some of them knew they were bots but the others didn't they didn't know at all there was bots like that they were playing with and i i feel really bad for um you know players that are in iron and play in iron but the methods of solo carrying i've i played a game where i had two bots on my team they were both landing with each other and they died a bunch and i was able to carry a 3v5 so if you are an iron player with my tips with my tricks with my tactics just know that you can solo carry every game you can get out of this elo but i definitely can see how this is an elo especially if you don't have a lot of time to play where you can get stuck in so just thought i'd uh <laughs> get my overall thoughts of this elo because this is my first time or i think my second time ever playing in this elo this is like my second time doing an unranked challenger like this all right so we're gonna go back to the gameplay uh i'm gonna hold my e go over the wall and i would save my e to get the raptors you don't want to use your e to get to the krugs because typically the way that it goes is that Krugs are a lot faster to kill right now, and the ECD is pretty long. So you want to make sure that you can actually have your E up. This, so. Path bot now. I think the main thing I'm looking for this challenge, I'm, well, I'm curious to see how long I can go without loss. And I'm doing this all solo queue, no duo, because I feel like if you're a duo, you have someone else to play off of, like another challenger player. That kind of takes away the uh, aspect of teaching people how to be more self-sufficient. That's all I'm trying to teach uh, my chain mains out here, to be self-sufficient, so. Alright. Um, yeah. I make sure to auto this wolf one extra time. I also noticed one of the main things about iron is that players rarely ever leash. I, I don't get leashed often. And even if I spam ping, even if I ask for help, I do not get leashed often. So a lot of this uh, pathing and playstyle, you're going to have to really do on your own. But then I, I'm going to tell you guys all the beneficial things to think about in this elo. But one, whenever you go for ganks, no one ever pays attention if you're ganking or not. They could have full vision and not pay attention. So it's really easy to gank. It's really easy to get kills. I think the main way to carry in this elo specifically is to pick up free kills and not die. And it, it's going to sound very simple. And it is simple. And that's what people really need to realize is that these strategies are very simple. Because look, I just farm all my camps. I look for a gank. I know where the enemy junk started because I saw them leash bot. She path bot to top. I can see that. And now I can just look for, you know, like a gank or something. If you eat forward. Okay, so I flash on her for the slow there. That's close. Nice try though. I mean, we got her flash and heal. She's pretty fast, so it's all good. Had I um, waste my W. Otherwise, it could have been a kill. We got a lot of orbs though. That's a solid uh, start. We can look bot here. Maybe there's a gank opportunity. She keeps pushing. A lot of times you'll see the players in this elo, they overextend a lot. So if you're able to actually watch the map and pay attention to things like that, you can pick up some free kills, definitely. Alright. So, like, let's just say if she just, like, chases after this Varus, like, hardcore, I could look to gank her. But if not, then I could just look to reset. Now, notice one of the things about my uh, pathing is that after I throw all my camps, I'll look for a gank. And then after one gank, I usually look to reset because you don't want to be staying on the map too long. You want to be getting your camps around when they when, when they respawn and they respawn every two minutes, 15 seconds. So. All right, one drink some water. Um, yeah, but they typically look to reset every like two minutes, 15 seconds. So that's kind of how you have like a... This is why clearing fast is so important as well. Being fast, it saves you a lot of time and it gives you more time to look for ganks. Also, look at how much time people spend in the shop. I think just having a general idea of what to build is super important. You know, like there's sites that tell you what to build. There's sites that literally give you the items right in front of you, like Blitz or I think uh, there's like U.G.s. 
stuff like that. I usually use pro builds, but you should always have like a general idea of what you want to build going into a game if you're uh, an iron player. Even at the lowest ranks, there's you just want to make sure that you're understanding the game. You don't need to necessarily be the best mechanically. It's more so about mental that helps you climb out of these elos. You have good mechanics though, I mean, you should still know how to itemize. usually build the same items every game. If you're watching me, I, I build pretty much the same stuff every game. You can watch all my videos. Blue is pretty similar with the builds every game. Same runes every game. You know what to build, and it buy a lot faster in base. And yeah, that should die to the wolf. Okay, Lux is pushed pretty far up here. Same with Zeri. Zeri has no sums. Gale is level 6 now, so she does, uh, does range attacks. I'm a little bit low, so I don't want to die, but... Go kill. <laughs> Only as I own boots. If I just cut out her autos. Plug to kill her like that. Actually, just flashes away. It's fun. Yeah, she has two two boots, so it's a little hard to like actually stay on top of her, the spacing and whatnot. Nice. Just notice we're getting a lot of like flashes, a lot of orbs. Sometimes that's all you really need to do. As long as you're not dying for free, because look, sometimes people would they would like go too crazy and creep for the kills. This is where just playing the game a lot gives you that leverage because I'm able to understand my limitations. So if I know my limitations, then I know how to like, okay, dissect these type of plays. And the advantages I'm gonna build is through my CSing, through my pathing. So notice that she went Ionian boots, and I went double longsword. So I clear faster. She moves around the map faster, which is good for ganking, but I clear faster. So I can get an advantage through clearing camps. And with that gold XP advantage, I can use it to get a big reset and then look to force on her. So next time I fight her, let's see if we got her flash track of her flash something like that you know if you want to be more advanced um can keep track of when they flash so you notice how i have timestamps on so i pinged the flash at 652 so now it's just five minutes after that's 1152 i said they keep in mind like knowledge that her flash will be up at 1152 mundo might die there right. so i get tier now yeah i want to get my tier just because I want to start stacking that bad boy up. The crab was up. Yeah, but I have a losing top and a losing mid. Both scaling champs. You don't want to like try and force a force something when you don't have the prio for it. Anything that's contested, you don't want to fight it. Unless it's like you're stronger. You have stronger laners and you're stronger personally. This adds unnecessary risk. You don't need to like add risk in a game where you're already ahead. Device bot. Okay, I'll just head on over. It's, she looks like she's gonna be chasing this long. The sweep. Ah, they are chasing it long. I wanna get a lot of blue orbs here. Just cause I wanna get my blue form. Alright, I hope I'm shoving now and then probably look to the dragon if anything. Oh, I actually got my blue form. Wow, that was crazy. We can shove one more. We'll just shove one more here. I can go chaser. Her flash should be up now, but let's we'll see. I'll save my E here, because she might try and hop the wall. I think she dies here. Nice, that's good. Okay, so look, we got three free kills and I didn't die. So just notice how my playstyle, I'm getting amps, getting kills, and I'm not dying. So I'm just taking and taking, but I'm not giving. I went to the river, so I'm pretty sure she's on the dragon. Sometimes if you just hit this, you'll actually scare them from doing the dragon. Oh, she wasn't on it, that's nice. 
I'm um, just farming a couple extra camps here, being a little greedy, just so I can get my prowlers full on the reset. I have futures market if you guys can see my runes, so kind of just what I'm aiming to get. Pretty overextended, and Moon was coming as well. I think this is uh, looking gankable. I'd be careful if I was him. I got another assist. Oh, sadly, my team died though. I guess the wave here. That's good. Now I don't need to go in dead. Saves me 50 gold. I'm like that will add up. Nice. Another thing is, yeah, a lot of people they they can just overextend so often. And one little tip I always like to give people is looking at the uh, terrains. You can get behind them, like right here or right here or right here. You can get behind them if they're pushed past that. It's really easy to gank. Now, someone in my chat mentioned that the top scuttle was up earlier, and I kind of advise CS. This is a little bit of a more advanced mechanic. Wouldn't expect uh, people in, in this ELO to know this, but if you count the CS and you keep track of, like, okay, she farmed her top, went to bot, but then she stayed bot for, like, two or three minutes, so now I know that all of her top side's up. She stuck around to the dragon, so I know that she didn't reset and go to the top side yet. She probably will now. This gives me enough time to get the top scuttle and the blue. Maybe the Gromp if I want to be greedy because I have Smite so I can actually contest that. But I'm also seeing mid that's gankable. A lot of a lot of the game is just like weighing your options, being like, okay. I just saved my uh, ult if I probably there. I think I'll hop the walls, so. I think Garrett put a ward there. Nice. Yeah, if he keeps pushing, Vi will be around. That's why I'm like pinging it. Yeah, whenever they move like that, they usually go into wards. So it's just a good indication of like, okay, keep a mental note. So now if I were ever to gank this guy, I wouldn't approach from that angle. I'd approach from a different angle. I'd approach like from this way instead of that way. All right. It's pretty overextended. I don't really need to reset for like another three and a half minutes. You could just get a bunch of gold and XP. Staying long on the map is a very, very good way to solo carry games because you're just soaking up so much gold and XP. And if you're ahead and you know how to play with that lead, there's really no limitations. You can just keep making but plays. Oh, Diego, thanks for the prime. Yeah. I'd like to send the rift mid now. I want to open up mid tower. Yeah, notice that she just keeps overextending, so it's good to just kill them. Like I said, if they're ever pushed past that terrain, this terrain, you can always look to kill them. In this elo, they never respect where the jungler is, so it's really easy to pick up a lot of free kills. And then the hard part is just worrying about not dying, you know? Like right here, I'm not gonna go in 1v2. I'm not even go in 2v2 because they have MF and Lux. So usually when I'm about to like fight, I think about a lot of things like, okay, where's Vi? We see Vi top. Then we have bot. I just saw Lux use Q, so I was watching that. I know she doesn't have Q, so I can just like water, walk her down there. MF walks up. I'm gonna hold my E, I gotta wait until I'm out of combat. I can just chase her down. Oh, it's top for a while. I could have maybe went for an invade, but it's fine. Dragon's in a minute 50, so I don't have to worry about resetting yet. I'll reset. Like, I usually like to reset like 45 seconds before dragons. That's usually how I like to do it. I can cover mid right now, just take that wave. You built wave, I'm just gonna miss a kitchen reset. Have one more in. That little friend of Mumu will help me here. Thank you, Mumu. 
I'll look for the top scuttle, get my raptors, and then I said 45 seconds before. Make sure I reset. Here's one of my smite charges, help me clear a little bit faster. See, so just pay attention that I'm getting these massive resets, right? And because I stayed the map so long, I already have a two level lead, and if you look at my match history, there's been games where I've gotten like seven level leads over the enemy jungle. Which, if you could do that in your games, it's really hard not to solo carry. It's, it's all about not dying. In this elo, it's all about not dying. You should be a little bit of a KDA player. So I only fight fights that you're like very confident in. So like I only fight, I only dive in if I have like my prowlers or my ult or my team or you know, stuff like that. But right there, usually after you get your prowlers, the items I look to get, I always go prowlers, I always get Ionian boots. But after that, I'll, I'm split between three items. They have a lot of CC, Edge of Night. They have a lot of shields, I go Serpents. And if they don't have either, then I go Yumus. So they have a lot of shields. They have Vi Shield, Double Shield, Passive and her Eclipse. They have Lux. So, shield. And I think uh, Karen has his shield in his W. So, good amount of shields on their team. Is there notice? I don't need to look to use my ult or anything. Hold my CD. Let's get the objective. And the main way to look to like transition this game, which is the mid to late, is taking out all those tier one towers. So if you take out all the tier one towers, then it opens up the map. So notice how in the bot side, I could just like walk freely in the enemy jung. I could usually put some wards if I want to. Then I could just, you know, consistently look for picks. So this is just how you keep that lead. That's how you keep that lead. You just completely drain them of all their resources. Notice how Vi's walking to the jungle right here. She's gonna use her Q. Just use it. A little tank here, so I'll ult here. Okay. Take the blue. I'll take the Grom. We get top tower. There's a freeze area over there. We're spotting in like 50 seconds. I'm just gonna keep farming up. I think Mars just taking my camps. I don't know why. Maybe he needs an item. I take drugs, I can take bread. So notice when it gets to this point of the game, I usually prioritize the enemy camps over mine. The enemy camps are never guaranteed, but your camps usually are, especially if you're this ahead. Yeah. So we can see Garrett's heading top. There's two in the jungle, so there's three top side, four top side. I'm gonna look to one shot the fire. Ulti her. Not bad. Need to use flash there. Just figured I would. Just in case she uh, tried to kill me. I'm just gonna take this top wave, take the top tower, look to get the rift, and then you can use that rift to get the bot tower. So just trying to do it all. Kane is really a do it all champ, and this is why I'm trying to teach you guys this self sufficient playstyle of just. Consistently looking to 1v9 every game because if you could do it, well, I'm gonna try and show you that I can win every game. I, I don't know how long I can go without a loss. I'm hoping to get the masters without a loss, but we'll see. But yeah, let me get the rift now. I can also look for picks, but notice I don't have my prowlers and I do not have my ulti, so I kind of need to like need to use my eyes more than anything. Seeing that Zeri was low, but up. My stats, sure. That's now we're gonna get the rift. I buy all to my prowlers, and I don't want to reset until I use it. It just nets me like a free killer too. Top side camps are up, so I can take that again. I can shove out top because no one else is shoving it. But 
right now, I mean, typically, uh, itemization is really simple. Like I said, I usually build the same stuff. So, after I get my Lethali item, after my uh, Prowlers and my Ionia boots, the three I told you guys about, then I'll usually look to get Enemune and then Grudge. So, it's really simple. Really, really simple. And then, class items, kind of just whatever you want. Sometimes I go Shojin, sometimes, you know, or Lethali, sometimes GA, you know, it depends on what you're, what you're feeling. I get some autos on the turret here. Did like half HP because no one's here yet. Heads back up. Kill the MF, but. I thought I was dying for free. Ah, honestly, I might just be able to end. If they die, we get a pick. The respawn timers are long enough to where we can end. I had to use my entire kit there. MF's a little bit of a tanky champ. Yeah, I got that. I mean... I, I can take one more wave in the backup. Hello, oh, boop. They supposed to do some nuts. Welcome back. I already said no. I wanted to get my grudge. I did the math on that. See, so now I reset before the dragon. So if there was like a fighter contest on the dragon, I'd have like a really big... Opportunity to fight that. I can send the rift bot right now. So remember how I said that you can get a big XP lead? So I have a four level lead on the Vi. It's because you just take away. You take and take and take and then put in yourself. Alright. So we could send the rift mid if we want to like end that way, but we have to clean ace them. If not, we can just take the bot and hit and then. Yeah, once you open up all the inhibs. Am I playing ranked? Yeah. Oh, I thought I had my ult there. <laughs> so it's still because I was like, oh, all right, time to ult here. Okay, well, yeah, if I want to end, like I said. Oh, she has shield. Alright. For the turret here. I forgot about our immortal shield though. Alright, we got three in him. Yeah. It's really, really impossible to lose a game with triple in him. So that's kind of like your go to. Like, okay, that's what we get to win. A lot of people will try and end games with like one in him, but you want to get three in him. Yeah, let me unpin that message in chat. Right. So now what we want to do right now, because we're an assassin, we look to make picks, so I'm going to try and pick them off one by one. So... Oh, stop moving that way. Yeah, if she ults you and you ulti her, you could cancel her ult. But once you hear that noise, you heard that noise, or once you see the animation, that's when you do it. Alright, GG. Well, this is my last game in iron. Good luck to all my iron friends in getting out of iron. I, I feel really bad for you. This elo is infested with bots. One third of my games had a robot in it. Unfortunately, this one didn't, but... Best luck to you. Onward to bronze, boys. Hey, bronzies.